Welcome back to New Jersey Power and Politics. I'm Jim McQueen. Well, 10 years later, we are a different state and a different nation because of the attacks of September 11th, as they so often do. The habits, the behavior, even the laws of our country change because of our new mindset. So just how different are we a decade later? Well, Bart Rossi is a practicing clinical psychologist, uh, practicing in New Jersey, a frequent guest when we here to have you analyze politicians and their motives. But here, a little more sadder with the 10th anniversary here of 10-11, uh, 9-11, excuse me. Um, you, right after the uh, uh, 2001, right. you, you wrote a book and you talked about this thing of post-September 11th uh, psychologist perspective about right. how things will change. And I looked at before we went on the air, and you're right. You predicted how things would change. Tell us how they changed. Well, I, I thought that there would be a new lifestyle. I called it the new, new lifestyle, basically a change from where we were. And I, I think that the American psyche has, in fact, changed. Uh, I, you know, I, I think that we, we have moved to a different place in time. Uh, you know, there used to be the me generation, uh, the generation where everyone would talk about themselves and where they were going, what they would be doing. But in fact, I think first and foremost, today it's the nation first. I mean, if we don't have a nation, if we fail as a country or if we don't exist, how can one be successful and, and achieve their career goals a lot and so of, forth? There's a lot of this, if that's so what you're saying, the nation first. It's out of fear. It's out of fear economically. It's out of fear of, of terrorism, both foreign and domestic here. It's out of fear about the wars are going to. It's, it's not a positive place to be there, even though you're behind the country. Well, I think fear is one thing, okay? But, and, and that's a factor. But I think we've become more diligent as, as a nation, more thoughtful and, and, and more uh, discerning in terms of how we act. You know, there's a change in our behavior and but how we But there's still a lot of anger out there. Well, that's the second point I really wanted to make, that really, uh, as a result of 9-11, I see what psychologists call retained anger being a major factor. Retained anger is something that you never get past. You never get over it. Like, we get angry and then we move on, we get into different circumstances and it's past. But with retained anger like this, it'll never go away. It's something we have to live with. And when we see a, a, an event or we see a story on 9-11, it conjures up that anger and those feelings, and we have to deal with it almost on a daily basis or certainly on a fairly regular basis. I think a lot of Americans never had to deal with anything quite like that before. And I think this, this uh, retained anger factor is, is, is there for, for a lot of Americans. Well, America hasn't really had uh, uh, a terrorist attack of this magnitude, so they've never had to deal with something like this before. But right. let me ask you something. With having it happen like that, retaining the anger in right. uh, a new psyche, as you said in your book, that right. was going to occur, is America in a position to forgive the attackers? I don't see Americans forgiving. I, I, don't, I don't see that as being the factor, really. I, I think Americans are more concerned about being united. And I think the third point that I really wanted to make is the fact that as a result of 9-11, I see us moving together in a certain way. Uh, there's an article in the American Psychologist that they just came out that basically said that 58% of people in America in this, in this survey indicate that there's positives or benefits that came out of 9-11. Uh, for example, value of life, especially our life and our lifestyle here in America, as well as being engaged and active in the political process. I think that's really fantastic. That, that's really uh, a uniting and a positive way to look at where we, uh, where we are today, you know, vis-a-vis 9-11. -vis, uh, so, last word, when you look at it, 10 years later after you wrote that book, what do you say you were most right about in predicting? Probably the united factor, the fact that life will change and the fact that it, there's a uniting factor in all of this. Okay, very good. Uh, Dr. Bart Rossi, uh, uh, reviewing this period of time here, here and a little different thing about today is the way you're usually on when we talk about politicians and stuff, trying <laughs> right, to right. ascertain their motives and stuff like that. So, all right, Thank that's going to do it for this week. I'm Jim McQueenie. Thanks for watching the Jersey Power and Politics, and we'll see you next time.